ladies and gentlemen we got the dark suit back on you know what that means it's time for an os review during my video on gaming on linux i talked about playing on mint and a lot of you suggested that i check out khaki os or catchy os depending on how you want to say it so i decided you know what the heck we're just gonna nuke everything and i'm gonna install it from scratch and see how it goes so that's what we did I'm gonna tell you all about it in this video. I guess you can say I suited up and said challenge accepted. But what is Khaki OS? It's an arc based distro focused on performance and gaming specifically. It offers optimized kernels, one of them being Zen, and it also has certain system tweaks that allow games to perform at a much higher rate than other distributions. It basically aims to balance power and usability. So it's not as complex as having base arc, but it's also not as easygoing as having something like Mint or Ubuntu. The installation experience was actually pretty smooth and fast because it comes with a Calamaris installer and it offers the choice of kernel during the install. So I picked the one specific for Nvidia because that's unfortunately the graphics card that I have. Despite this, I didn't really have too much of an issue. In fact, I actually chose the KDE Plasma desktop, which is basically the heaviest one out of the options that you have available. So it's not necessarily suited for performance, more so for look. However, this didn't seem to impact too much as you know, my machine is relatively good. When I tried out the games, I actually saw a noticeable improvement in loading times and frame rates, including booting up the computer. And that's comparing it to Mint, not even Windows because Windows just takes forever comparatively speaking. I tried several AAA titles, so we have things like Elden Ring and Cyberpunk 2077, and they actually ran better than before. Ultimately, during benchmarks, I was getting somewhere between 5 to 15% FPS increase over the results that I was getting on Mint. And that's off the basis without any actual tweaking of my own. The Zen kernel and system tuning play a major role in this, and I could easily tell this was happening as I was playing. In terms of compatibility, Kagi OS comes with Pamac and AUR, which makes installation relatively easy. It does require some terminal use, but there's nothing too complicated about it. It's not as simple as something like Mint or as straightforward as Ubuntu, but it will still get the job done. It wasn't that much of a hassle. It also comes pre-configured with tools like Lutris, Bottles, Heroic, and all these things are included out of the box, so you don't really have to search for them. There's also very few AUR dependency issues, and that makes it so it's a little bit easier on newer users to the OS like myself. Despite the user-friendly elements, it's still an Arc system, so there's a few things that you have to get over. Rolling releases can cause instability, for example, sound issues, which I did experience from time to time, when trying to share my screen and capture sound from one app to another. There were some troubleshooting that I had to do in order to fix the drives as they were mounting and the ownership for them. But overall, it wasn't anything that I could not tackle and nothing that was too complicated for me to not grasp. So overall, less predictable than Debian based alternatives, but not too bad, not too bad. I think one of the reasons it's not everyone's favor is it lacks a long term stability of distros like Mint or Pop OS. And because it's a rolling release, performance is really high, but there's that occasional risk of things going wrong. And usually for, you know, content creators, streamers, gamers reliability often matters more than performance as takeaways from this little experiment i have to say that you know the viewers picking this one out for me led to some valuable discoveries and learning it actually got me to doing a lot more terminal use than i'm normally used to considering i am pretty new to all of this i pushed out of my comfort zone i challenged a few of the assumptions that we talked about in the myth section and it got me open to trying more distros that were suggested by the community, which is overall an, a positive. Having installed and tried it out in terms of gaming, as well as office use for work and much more, I'm pretty sold on Khaki OS for those of you that are looking for a performance focused distribution. Not perfect, but it's a strong contender in the gaming distro space. Maybe come 
a daily driver with a bit more polish as time goes on. But of course, I would encourage you, if you have other distros that you want me to try out, leave them in the comments down below. I might as well, I might go crazy and just delete everything again. Although I am pretty happy with the results I've gotten so far. And honestly, having to redo OBS isn't like a fun thing for me, necessarily. Speaking of OBS, soon we're going to be back to streaming. But we're not just going to be streaming on Twitch. I actually have a video coming up about that topic. But we'll be multi-streaming across Twitch and several other platforms. So feel free to follow us on those so that you can stay up to date. More than likely during the week, if we do stream, it'll be in the early evenings and on the weekends, we will try in the mornings. So stay tuned for those if you're interested in that kind of content. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video. My name is Skeletal. The H is silent like the amazing performance of CAC US.